Hi guys and welcome to thrustzone.com. This is Mohit Soni. Um, yes, I am going to begin this story uh, very differently because, uh, and I'm we are calling it sit down, uh, you know, with the motorcycle. It is probably going to be a series if you like this uh, by pressing the like video, telling me in the comment section, and whether I should do this or not because I've thought a lot about it, and uh, I'm giving it a shot, taking uh, that step, and. Uh, tell you in this format what the motorcycle is all about because at times it becomes monotonous you guys don't view the videos of uh, no matter how much detailed it is and no matter how much <laughs> effort that i put in uh, it isn't working so let me just sit down in the open uh, i don't have a ac studio for now or expensive jumpers to wear and relax we are going to do it the old school way and uh, we are going to discuss a motorcycle which is surprisingly uh, makes me feel old enough this is the royal enfield bullet 350 and uh, i also have a certain history with it as well of course i did not own it uh, most of you uh, watching this know already that uh, and obviously some people who uh, know me uh, know that i like fast motorcycles and uh, you know very specifically street fighters but this caught my eye when i rode it for the first time and uh, later when i tested it for the very first time in my career almost uh, exactly 10 years ago now um there was a bit of a different feel about it and uh, we are going to discuss that because royal enfield wants to tell a story on the bullet they don't want to sell you a product they want to sell you a story um and uh, let me try and tell a story about the bullet 350 here and bullet in perception and what has been my experience with this motorcycle uh you know turning back the dials uh, 10 years ago 2013 is when i think i rode the bullet 500 which i had heard a lot about um you know it's great it's epic you know first gear mein यू नो चढ़ जाती है सेकेंड गियर में चढ़ जाती है थर्ड गियर में हिमालय चढ़ जाती है एंड ऑल ऑफ दो स्टोरीज नाउ इज बिकम प्रिटी मच डिफॉल्ट दैट यू हैव टू टेक योर लद्दाख यू नो योर बुलेट टू लद्दाख और एल्स यूल बी मेड फन अबाउट इट बट बैक इन द डे थिंग्स वर लिटिल बिट मोर सीरियस अबाउट मोटरसाइकलिंग एंड वेन आई रोड द बुलेट फाइव हंड्रेड फर्स्ट आई वॉज जस्ट अमेज लाइक इन मेनी वेज ऑफकोर्स आई हैड ए प्लेथोरा ऑफ इमोशंस कमिंग आउट हाउ कैन समथिंग यू नो फाइव हंड्रेड सी सी बी दिस स्लो or this unrefined and uh, but at the same time i was surprised at what the chassis cap- capability was because this was one of the first few motorcycles which uh, and still date has a light front end and a uh, you know slightly heavier rear end usually motorcycles uh, that i rode were front heavy and uh, that surprised me that was the first thing that surprised me about the bullet and uh, then i realized that there is endless stock on offer and when you rev it to the red line uh, uh, you realize that you're not supposed to do it so when a normal motorcyclist revs it till you know tries to reach the red line on the bullet he will immediately fall back uh, while doing so because there was so much vibration so much vibration that was uh, unbelievable uh, to me and uh, that was day one of me riding and realizing you know this is not meant to be revved this is meant to be enjoyed rather uh, you know calmly and sanely and uh, so that's what i did on the next day the first day was the shoot i am assuming next day when i started riding it again i realized you know what this is actually a very good motorcycle uh, it doesn't ask much from you this is almost 10 years ago and uh, 10 years ago uh, i was in my 20s early 20s so you know i wasn't lacking any energy or anything like that uh, back in the day uh, so because i wanted a car so that i would want a car motorcycle but i realized what this is as a tester i have to see uh, what is the product offering to which customer and that is what i realized that is why i realized why do bullet riders ride that slow is because it's no point driving it um, the torque is always under 3500 rpm back in the day and uh, that's what made it very special uh, i remember riding the 500 and i remember talking to people who had the 500 uh, as well so that is what the bullet is all about and you know there were people with uh, much more weight and body and uh, you know all of that and they said even if i buy a fast motorcycle it's not going to be fast with me so it's best that i enjoy it with the bullet so that is what also the bullet is all about putting it on the main stand like i did right now it was also a very uh, bullet thing and a man thing to do and that's what brings it to the most important part the bullet is all about uh masculinity uh, you know to a very large extent so if you could put it on the main stand you would get you know in college wow amazing you can put it on the main stand D- despite it was not that hard but uh, there was certain aura certain story behind the fact that you know you can't put a bullet on the main stand so when that happened and one of my very close friends in college had one uh, he used to put it on the main stand and uh, he said yaar mehnat to lagti hai 
and then i was like okay uh, let me uh, try it as well and then i agreed with him that you know mehnat zarur lagti hai uh, that is where for me uh, that is what the bullet war was for me like the 350 the, the one that belonged to my friend the 500 that i tested you know put me into the zone of what royal enfield like you know exactly is they are not into something that they want to sell you because it's fast it's fuel efficient it's comfortable at the same time it is comfortable it is capable in a different way and uh, it is something that is a lot of uh, you know masculinity behind it and uh, a lot of emotions behind it when you ride that slow and uh, you know you you are not it's not about riding slow uh, you know compared to everybody else it's about being uh, you know away from everybody that uh, funda still exists today uh, there is a lot of uh, there are a lot of people who want that even now and that is i think one of the reasons why people still buy royal enfield is because they want to stay away with the crowd they don't want to be ahead particularly they're fine being behind or you know with a certain pack while a certain pack is ahead and while a certain pack is way too ahead so if you buy a ktm you are going to be a lot ahead while with the new royal age royal and fields at least you are going to be uh, in the middle pack not in the rear pack because you can actually keep up with the new ones uh, the new ones are also something that a lot of you know journalists my friends journalists and uh, me over the 10 to 12 years have realized that royal and field has come of age while people ask me in the you know comment section below you know you know and everywhere else you know why is there a praise for the bullet that thing is age old slow and uh, doesn't really uh, make a lot of sense these are the new uh, age logical people who ask me these questions then i make them realize that uh, when emotions uh, uh, you know cloud your judgment and your buying decisions is when you buy this and that happens to everybody from time to time and that is where again the royal and field comes in uh, and very particularly i'm saying royal and field again and again but it is mostly about the bullet because you know royal enfield is all about the bullet it is not about the classic it's now never been about the thunderbird it is never been about uh, electra much but it's always about the been a bullet so when i say i had a you know i bring a royal enfield to the office they're like bullet chala ke aaya i'm like you know have you ridden a bullet i said no it's a classic 350 it's a meteor 350 uh, it's a thunderbird and uh, you know so nowadays when i said i ride a i rode a royal enfield to the office they were like uh, so you rode a bullet so even after 15 year 10 15 years the question uh, Uh, the answer to the question is the same but everything is changed so that is what you get when you get deep down within the brand deep down uh, you know and realize that there are of course many models now it's not just about the bullet but no matter whatever you do it is all about the bullet and uh, the bullet here you know i could show you the usual walk around and tell you you know the quality is improved which it has uh, you know it is almost like a classic uh, with a different uh, seat and uh, a slightly different uh, you know those headlamps or uh, twin uh, uh, pilot lamps up there are different and there is a royal enfield logo on the instrument cluster instead of something else it has replaced the, the battery voltage from the past from its own uh, everything else is pretty much like the classic and uh, the it's the seat design that makes it like a bullet because everybody else will think it's a classic from far away despite they can see those uh, pilot lamps and uh, you know again that makes me point out that it's all in the detail Royal Enfield is all about in the detail. They've gone a lot into the detail of a lot of motorcycles. They've churned out a lot of motorcycles. They're going to churn out a lot of motorcycles. As we speak, there are almost ten products that are set to come in in the next two years, and pretty much everything is going to come every quarter because Royal Enfield is a listed company, and they have to show that they're doing something new every three months. Uh, so there, there is a hint for you that you can expect a new Royal Enfield in every three four months. For people who don't know, people who know will know. uh so you know that is what the bullet is all about it is mostly a classic now with a revised seat a revised headlamp a front look and uh, it is the same to ride as well uh one thing that i have noticed while riding in all the j series uh, motorcycles in the 350 cc engine right here it that is that uh, it skips a bit at times at certain elevations i feel that you know the spark is cut off of course there is no traction control here but i feel that at certain elevation mostly going downhill because nowadays cities are all about uh, bridges uh, there are no roads anymore there are all bridges uh, there is a small gap between two bridges that is now called a road and uh, whenever i go downhill i feel uh, in a very lower gear first or second i feel there is a cut so i notice that in the bullet i notice that in the classic i notice that in the hunter and i notice that in the meteor so with the meteor i said it could be a one off thing then i rode uh, the classic after almost uh, some time 
then i realized that okay this could be something but let's see uh, and ride more and see if that happens um surprisingly it was there but then i rode uh, the bullet 350 uh, the hunter uh, it uh, uh, the hunter is slightly different uh, it, it takes a lot of time to notice that aspect but with the bullet here again you feel that that there is somehow a spark cut a sort of misfire uh, that happens with this uh, jva series 350 uh, engine here but most of the time it is much more smoother much more calmer than before uh it's got a lot of torque in the low and mid range you can actually rev it now if you want or if you are in a mood to rev it and your hands and your muscles and your shoulders and your triceps will not vibrate as if it's a guitar so you can do that now if you want to you will might do that while hustling the bike around because you can actually hustle this bike because of the new chassis which is actually quite good um uh, you know friend uh, you know saw me riding a motorcycle in bombay and he said that how are you riding this uh, you know bullet 350 like you're riding a normal motorcycle uh, you know why are you putting so much effort into it i said it doesn't require that much effort anymore you can actually hustle this bike and when you do that you have the intention to you know redline it if you've not ridden a royal enfield before you won't understand uh, but if you've ridden a normal motorcycle uh, in the past then uh, you have ridden the royal enfield for a good amount of time and if you still have it or don't have it you will you know agree with me on that aspect you know the handling is there it feels quite agile the front is still very light the brakes are good enough the tires are okay uh, you still get spoke wheels there's no alloy wheels obviously with the bullet i don't think alloy wheels are ever going to come because royal enfield has already taken a lot of criticism for the new bullet uh, if this would have been the first motorcycle instead of the meteor uh, things would have been very different uh, you would perceive it in a very different way uh, but it was the meteor that came in and then the classic then the hunter and then this so that is why royal enfield has a story to say and not the platform to explain uh they said that there are changes to the engine and uh, what are the changes cosmetically and what they've done uh, of course i wouldn't know i'm just uh, following what is available on the internet uh, and on their website uh, i have not been briefed but uh, i have good friends in the uh, uh, good friends in the journalist zone who been there at launches and they've told me that this is what royal enfield is trying to put uh, so they have a lot to say i have also had a lot to say today on the bullet 350 um i think that's what the bullet 350 is all about it is about emotions it is about uh, you know when uh, your judgment is clouded is when you try to consider this motorcycle but you know what the reason why again coming to the most consumer part of the review is that you will be like you know you're praising you're making different videos about it and you're you know telling stories instead of doing reviews is because i want you guys to understand that uh, you know the reason why we are sort of loving the new royal enfields or in fact craving to spend extra time with these motorcycles is that they are now much more you know approachable uh, they are now much more uh, accessible and uh, that is where actually a uh, lot of things change i would love to see a bullet 350 in my garage if i could afford it uh, you know i i want a motorcycle that is this calm so i can do those you know out of the blue rides when i feel like you know after dinner let's just head out for a ride or uh, let's go out in the evening for a long ride uh, not particularly morning to night rides like we do on the weekends uh, just a bike to just when you feel like riding but you don't want to put in the extra effort you want to enjoy a calm uh, slightly fast motorcycle that is effortless to ride or uh, doesn't feel unsafe anymore brakes tires suspension all do their job it's comfortable with the suspension on potholes and bad roads it does it all and it makes a noise that uh, you know that is loud enough to make people realize that you are riding a motorcycle and uh, without being fast so that is also something that secures you yourself on the busy roads that we have in india and uh, there are you know all these things that are talking about every single thing is a reason to get the royal enfield 350 for me it's you know uh you can hustle this motorcycle you can ride this motorcycle in absolute peace that is what makes it a really good thing uh for our roads and our conditions here in bombay uh with the kind of limited road network that we have within the city itself this is not delhi where there is endless roads to reach from one part of the uh, city to the other uh it is a great motorcycle to have i would love to spend uh you know i like to have this motorcycle in my garage for a longer time or in fact if i buy one right now i might not sell it ever uh, until unless it's running so that is what the royal enfield story is all about the bullet story is all about this bullet 350 story is all about and i'm just going to explain it this way uh and i don't think there is any other way to put it together because uh, the bullet does risk, you know demand respect demand your attention 
एंड आई थिंक दैट इज वॉट मेक्स द बुलेट थ्री फिफ्टी और रियली गुड मोटरसाइकिल टू हैव इन योर गराज एंड अ गुड मोटरसाइकिल टू ओन एंड समथिंग दैट यू विल नॉट रिग्रेट वंस यू स्पेंड टाइम वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस फिनमिन अबाउट द रॉयल एंड फील्ड मोटरसाइकिल एंड इफ यू वॉच दिस वीडियो देन ऑल्सो आई एम श्योर द सर्टन थिंग्स आर पुट इन टू परसपेक्टिव फॉर यू दैट इज इट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग मेक श्योर यू लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट सो फॉलो ऑन आर वेबसाइट एंड सोशल मीडिया फॉर एवरी डे अपडेट्स अंटिल देन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस लेट मी नो इफ यू वॉन्ट समथिंग लाइक दिस हेड एज वेल एंड गुड बाय